join us traveling up to Salon Privé for open day, so Salon Privé 2022 for open day, so this is our second day here. We're in convoy with three 458s, so we've got two in front of us, and a Senna behind, and behind the Senna, we've got a 512M, behind the 512 we've got an R8, so pretty cool convoy. Metcalf's road so this is the this is the road that Harry Metcalf used to review all of his cars and this is the road that we used as well when we were driving the test Rossa and the challenge Stradale for James James Martin JM on cars so we know this road pretty well gate entrance so it's a different entrance to what we came in yesterday and to what we've come in before actually but this takes us directly into the courtyard so this is the long driveway into the courtyard which is the section where we're parking the main display area if you like the middle the main parking area directly behind Lenin Palace so Saeed has really sorted us out for this event fantastic organization fantastic parking arrangements and to boot, he's, he's sorted out food for us as well. I mean, 
this car club is bloody awesome, the Drivers Union. If you're not joined, bloody join up now. You'd never think this was the road into Blenheim Palace, would you guys? <laughs> this is a right old back route. Look at the horses grazing here. We've got marshals along the route that are guiding us in. This horse is coming up to the railings. He wants to know what it's all about. A few more horses in these cars, mate. section just coming into the parking area we've just had our ticket signed in what looked like a farm courtyard area <laughs> interesting air, in, interesting route in for sure look there's the McMurtry guys on the right hand side so for those who don't know the McMurtry is the car that's got the new Goodwood lap record it's electric literally We're just driving into the last section coming into Blenheim Palace to the courtyard area. This is really cool, look at this. And we'll be doing a parade lap later on guys as well, so we take you through the parade lap as we do it. So we're now at Blenheim Palace for Salon Privé 2022 and we're parked in the courtyard. Look at all the Drivers' Union members. We've got the Senna down here that's parked along with us. We've got the Ford GT, incredible array of cars. Not everybody's turned up yet either. So all this courtyard, guys, all this courtyard is Drivers' Union members. We've got 150 odd cars here today. You can just see there, walking in the middle there, our illustrious leader, Saeed. He's done a fantastic job of organising this event for us today, an absolutely awesome job. And to boot, he's actually organised food for us as well. So he's actually, he actually has paid for food for the club membership. Absolutely awesome. Right, we're just going to take you for a walk around a few of the cars. Here we have an F40. So remember, all these are Drivers' Union members. So here we have an F40. This is an award-winning concourse car. Going to take you for a walk around the McLaren Senna now. You've got matte blue carbon fibre. This is evident across the car, substantially across the car. Wing mirrors as well, or door mirrors.
polished black piano black type roof with a snorkel. And the rear, as everybody knows it, of the McLaren Senna, the triple exhaust pipe, and a cool number plate too. And to the right of the Senna, we've got a Ford GT in this beautiful livery, in this beautiful colour scheme, gloss black with the silver stripe, or yeah, it is silver actually, it looks white from a distance, but it's actually a silver stripe down the centre of the car. The seats are pretty cool inside as well. Full black seats with um, like a, a cushioned section down the centre of the seat, all the way down through to the squab and over to support the underneath of the legs. So we've got three four GTs here, so this is obviously the newer model. Let's lead into one of the older versions of the Ford GT. This is actually they've got the same colour scheme. This is a, an earlier Ford GT, and this is, um, for those who know me and know my channel, will know that this is actually my preferred model. This is the Ford GT to get, to get, in my opinion. So again, you've got polished black with center silver stripe. Just look at the stance of that car, flipping awesome. Just, just to pick up quickly on this number plate, on this 458 Italia, look at that F2 BAP. Pretty cool number plate. And as we move down, we've got another Italia here, 458 Italia. We've got a 360 Spider, 458 Italia. We've got 9 Lamb GT3 RS, a Mercedes, 300 SL. And we've got another 4 GT, of my favorite star. This time it's in gloss, gloss blue with a silver stripe. There's actually a white stripe on this. And different wheels as well, you can see these uh, <coughs> <coughs> These wheels have got the centre center nub, so centre knockoff nub. Or nut, whichever, whichever you want to call it. Cool. Love these earlier Ford GTs. We can see here we've got an F12 TDF. This is an electrico blue. Stunning colour scheme. Next to the TDF, we have a 512 TR. There's actually a 512M that was following us, which we'll pick up in a minute. Obviously, there's a 360 Modena, and this is a 512M that was in our convoy. I thought it was a TR, but I wasn't quite sure, but it's uh, actually a 512M. So this is the last derivative of the Testarossa models. As you can see, the front is quite substantially different when compared with the TR. This has got the, the fixed perspex covered lights, whereas the TR has still the flip headlights, which I actually prefer, to be honest. We've got my favorite car here, 458 Speciale in launch spec. So Rossa Corsa with the blue Nart stripe down the center. This is pretty much launch spec. And then to the right of the Speciale, we've got another Testrosa. This one's in black, metallic black, which looks a little bit gray, depending on how you look at the car, depending on the angle you look at the paintwork. The black, at the, the black of this car really shows the, the substantial width of the rear end. So moving along to the other side, we've got a couple of Performantes, one either side. <laughs> so we've got a 675 LT here on the left hand side. Spider. Cool. Shout out to the Mac and the Snake at Instagram. And then just towards the back, we've got a 765 Coupe, which is an MSO model. So this is a McLaren Special Operations. So this will be a special design, special option car.
just going out on the parade lap now. So we've got the concourse winners that are leading us out. One of the concourse winners for our example, that's broken down. We're just going to do a full parade lap now and then we'll be coming back in and parking back up in the courtyard. This side, we're going to get Sai to say hello to the camera. Say hi to the camera, Sai. Lovely, uh, we're looking forward to the footage. So this is around the back area, right in front of uh, Blenheim Palace. So we're doing a parade lap all the way through Salon Privé. It don't get much better guys. We're going straight over the blitz now the award stands. So this is where cars were coming up, driving up to collect their concourse awards. Unfortunately we're not getting the concourse award but it's pretty cool to be on the, on the plinth. struggling earlier on it was overheating so it's, it's uh, had to stop unfortunately you're right guys Ooh, too hot. Too hot, yeah. So we're just going to cover off some of the stands that are around the back of Salon Privé or by the side of Salon Privé as you come into the entrance. So this is Tom Hartley. To the left we've got a 918. I believe a yellow DB4. Um, F40 to the side. As we move along here we come up to GVE. Got a black Bugatti Veyron and an absolutely stunning DB4, DB5. Black DB5. And then next to the black DB5, we've got a white Veyron and then a beautiful Enzo in Rosso Corsa with black Nero interior. Moving to the side of GVE, we've got Furlonger. We've got an awesome, we've got an awesome Mura in this beautiful orange color, which is one of the well-known colors for, for Muras. I think this bike made an SV, I'm not quite sure. Absolutely stunning, looks like it's been fully restored. 
Next to the Miura, we've got a 250 Lusso in silver, or maybe platinum. And then next to the, the Lusso, we've got an F50 disassembled. So you can see how they actually um, separate the engine from the front of the chassis of the car to be able to service the, service the engine. So this is what they have to do when they replace, when they do a full service, when they replace the cam belts, etc. So in effect, every major service that you do on an F50 requires you to separate the engine in that way, or to separate the engine, the rear of the car, so you separate into two halves. Quite a substantial maintenance operation. So we're at Joe Macari's here. We've got an MC12 that are on display. We've got a 912 on display. We're just going to cover this very quickly for you guys. A 355 at the back and a Diablo at the back. Not quite sure what the blue car is, what the blue Ferrari is. I think it might be a Lusso or a variation of 250. We're just leaving Salon Privé now, just going through the, the exit route, which is pretty similar to the parade route that we did. Looks like we're going through it.
just driving back, we're just past the, the normal Salon Privé main entrance. We're still behind the centre, but a 959 just pulled out in front of the centre, so pretty impressive. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the 959 for this bloody Range Rover. So that's Silent Privy 2022 closed out for rich reviews for another year. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the content or if you enjoyed the videos, both videos, please give them a thumbs up, give them a like. Lots more great content to come. If you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing. Very important for the channel, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.